Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited to finally film today's video because jewellery is a massive passion of mine and you guys have been asking for this video for months actually since I started my YouTube channel last June. So slightly overdue on this video, but nonetheless, here I am today. I am gonna run you through my jewelry collection. Right now, there are a few jewelry brands, which of course are my favorites, and those are what I'm gonna run you guys through today. Now, it would take me hours to go through every single piece of jewelry that I have. So what I've done here is just collated lots of my favorites from my favorite brands, and I will be filming another video where I go through some high street pieces with you all and that's going to be part of the new Look Chic for Less series. But first of all, let's start with Missoma. Now Missoma is probably my favourite brand out of all of the jewellery brands that I have here in my collection. Missoma is just one of those brands which is so wearable, they have so much choice, I can't even tell you. Every time I go onto their website, I click on the new in section and I'm like... <gasps> I need everything. Like I literally am uncontrollable when I go on the Misoma website. So I have a few of my favorite pieces here from Misoma. I'm actually wearing one at the moment. And this is actually one of the reasons that I love Misoma because they offer three different chain lengths and probably about four or five different styles of chain. So it enables you to make your own pieces. So a lot of the items are sold as a necklace, but they also sell the pendants separately. So you can layer them as I've done here. So this is the extra long bubble chain and I've worn this with a little disc and this which I call my Harry Potter charm, which is actually a Parve lightning bolt. And you can basically create your own pieces and create your own look. And that's what Missoma is all about. And that is why I love them. They're all about the mix and match, all about the layering and all about you just being you. Now, I do have a couple of my most frequently worn pieces from my Missoma collection here to show you. Number one is this horn pendant. Now this was one of my favourite pieces. It still is one of my favourites. It's so good for layering. You can add different charms on there as well and it does also come with the bobble chain. Now Missoma have recently re-brought this out in silver if silver is more your jam. As you can tell I'm very much a gold girl. Another favourite piece of mine is also from the Lucy Williams collection and this is I think it's called the mini fang necklace. Now this one actually sits a little bit higher up and it also has a few different adjusting rings here as well so you can wear it at different lengths. So you can actually wear this one as a choker and this looks so cute paired with the large horn necklace as well. Now also something to note this horn necklace there is a smaller version and there's also a little choker version as well which is so cute. Now I was going to mention tarnishing and what these things are made out of wasn't I? So Misoma actually uses a process called gold vermeil. Now gold vermeil is slightly different to gold plated because it's all down to the base metal. The base metal on gold vermeil items is sterling silver, so 925 stamped sterling silver, and then it is coated, which is still kind of a plating method, in whatever carat of gold. Now Misoma chooses to use 18 karat gold, which is kind of somewhere in the middle. It's not too yellow, but it's also not too pale. It's kind of just the right colour of gold. And every piece of Missoma jewellery also comes with a one year warranty which covers you against manufacturing defects. It does not cover you against if you decide to spray perfume all over your beautiful new Missoma jewellery. Which brings me on to how you care for these pieces. Now the main thing to remember is to keep your jewellery dry. Water is a massive issue when it comes to tarnishing. So if you're going away on holiday, make sure you take this off if you know you you're going to start getting really sweaty if you're sunbathing take it off before you go in the sea before you go in the pool it's all about just looking after these pieces because they are a little bit on the pricey side and of course you want to make sure that you're getting the most for your money so it really does pay to look after these now in terms of storage it is recommended that you keep them in their own little pouch or in their own little box as you can see I don't do that but I've had a lot of these pieces for over two years 
and some of them have only just started to tarnish very very slightly towards the back of the neck which is obviously where I'm getting a little bit sweaty and so therefore the acidity in my sweat is starting to remove some of that plating. Now I think I've got well over 20 different pieces from Misoma. Some items I have bought just the pendants on their own and I like to mix and match those with different chains. So obviously I've shown you guys the bubble chain. They do also have the plain chains and those come in three different lengths and they've also brought out a new chain which is called the orb chain which has little bubbles on it but they're sort of intermittently spaced and it's just nice to have a nice different range of different styles so that you can make your own designer piece. Oh and also they have just started doing a few more items in rose gold so if rose gold is your thing then definitely worth checking out the new in section on Misoma because they have started bringing out more silver and more rose gold. Moving on to my next favourite brand, which is Monica Vinada, or Monica Vinada, however you would like to pronounce it. Now, the necklace which you guys see me wearing day after day, and the necklace which I think a lot of you have bought, is this one. This is the Mini Marie Pendant. Now again, similarly to Misoma, they do offer a lot of the pendants and the chains sold separately, which is excellent. So again, you can make your own piece depending on what your taste is. Now, I love the Misoma bobble chain. So what I did here is I made my own necklace. So I used the medium or no, sorry, this isn't the medium. This is the long Misoma bobble chain with the Monica Vinada Mini Marie Pendant. And this for me is the perfect necklace. You guys will know this because I wear it almost every single day. I love it. Now the Mini Marie Pendant also comes in a larger size, but for me that's a little bit too big. This one is perfect because you can layer smaller pieces above as well. And it's kind of like an Aztec coin. It's really thin, it's really delicate, but it's just a really nice piece of jewellery. And I do also find that Monica Venada offers a lot more choice when it comes to rose gold and silver. So the majority of their styles also come in rose gold and silver options. So again, if gold isn't particularly your metal colour of choice, then check those out. Right, now my third brand that I'm gonna talk about today is a Portuguese-based brand called Cinco. You guys will have heard me talk about this endlessly in my weekly vlogs when I'm showing you all what I'm wearing. Now I've probably got around 20 different pieces including rings and earrings from Cinco. It's a brand that I love, it's a brand that I am more than happy to spend my money on and it's a little bit more affordable than Misoma and Monica Venada. Now I'm actually wearing two of the pieces here so I have a little delicate Dolce choker on and then this necklace here with the little spinner coin as well. Both of these are Cinco and then I have three hooks full of their necklaces. Now my favourite Cinco piece has to be this necklace here which is the ginger necklace and it has a really nice fluid chain it's just the perfect length again really good for layering and then down at the bottom it has a world engraved disc which is quite chunky it's not super super delicate now something to mention about the Cinco pieces especially if you're wanting to layer them with other jewelry brands they are actually 24 karat gold plated. So this means that the gold is a lot more yellow in tone than some of the 14 karat gold and the 18 karat gold designs that you can see from, for example, Misoma and Monica Venida. And in terms of price, this ginger necklace, for example, is 50 euros. So it is a lot more affordable than some of the other jewelry pieces which I have here. And another Cinco favorite of mine is this cross necklace, which is called the New Bella. I love this just because it's it's got a bit of a vintagey feel to it and I'm not religious in any way shape or form but I do really like this little cross design and the same as with the Miss Soma and the Monica Fernanda pieces you do need to be careful in terms of tarnishing so really look after them keep them away from any chemicals like perfume and hairspray the rule is to always put your jewelry on last when you're getting dressed and to take it off first so that's something to just remember when you're getting dressed right now on to my fourth and final favorite place to buy jewelry and that is etsy Ooh. now i have one seller in particular who is my favorite and my go-to for when i'm looking to pick up some new very dainty and pretty jewelry and that is holly j now my favorite piece from holly which she actually sent me recently is this cute little choker and it has all these little 
I don't know, these little like fan bits on them. It's so, so pretty. And again, it's a really nice dainty piece for layering up with some longer items like what I've got on here. Now, all of Holly's pieces are nickel free. In her earrings, she uses stainless steel posts and then the rest are 16 karat gold plated. And she does also offer a silver option, which is silver rhodium plated as well for those of you that have a slightly cooler skin tone. And another favorite piece that I have from Holly, again, I think was a recent item that she sent me and it is this little cut out star disc. Now what I love about her necklaces is that the chains are really really delicate. They're really dainty which makes them perfect again for layering up and they almost have like a slight vintage vibe about them because the chains are so thin and delicate. And this little star cut out disc I've actually been wearing a lot paired with that choker that I just showed you guys and together they just make a really nice duo. Holly's pieces are also super super affordable. You're looking at around about 20 to 30 pounds for a necklace and you're not losing out on the quality they're still gold plated and they are still absolutely beautiful right guys that is it for my jewelry collection now as you might have noticed I did have to focus on the necklaces side of things because I have so many but if you would like a separate video on my rings and my earrings then do let me know by leaving me a comment down in the comment section below now everything that i featured and all the brands i featured in today's video are all going to be listed in the description box so just click that expand arrow and you can see all of the details there thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye